Hello, hello, hello. This is Zach of Composition Critiques, and welcome to Song Title Showdown, where two different songs that share the same or similar name battle it out for glory. Today's title, Maneater, and the two competing artists are Holland Oates and Nelly Furtado. Let's go. First off, we have the track from Daryl Hall and John Oates of their 11th studio album, H2O, and it was released as a single on October of 1982. I gotta say, no wonder it reached number one on a Billboard Hot 100 because this is really good. Let's start with the production and instrumentation. We have snappy drum beats, a groovy yet subtle bass line, simple electric guitar strumming, and hypnotic keyboard notes that created a soothing nocturnal vibe. However, here comes a jazzy saxophone that acts as a siren to the male listeners as the titular character slowly creeps up on them inch by inch, causing them to sweat profusely and run for their lives. Then we have the solid vocals from Mr. Hall himself, as his delivery comes off as a passionate warning to the boy mentioned in the tune, while Mr. Oates and G.C. Smith back him up during the chorus as sternly as they can be, especially during the ending, where they ad-lib, watch out, in order to keep the audience on their toes. Lastly, we have the lyrics, which, on the surface, are about a conniving woman that preys on innocent men looking for love. But if you dig a little deeper, it's actually social commentary on New York City in the 80s, encapsulating greed, avarice, and spoiled riches. Hence why the lyrics, money's the matter, and she's a she cat tamed by the purr of a jaguar which references the famous car brand, are in it in the first place. You know, in a song this catchy and riveting, I wonder how Nelly Furtado can top it. Speaking of which, let's talk about her track from her third studio album, Loose. It was released as a single on May 26, 2006, and it peaked at number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100. It's a shame that it didn't reach number one because it's just as good as its predecessor, if not better. Now, in terms of the production and instrumentation, it has all of the ingredients of a fun yet menacing dance song. From the booming percussion with the strong hi-hats, to the commanding synth horns, to the mesmerizing electronic beat boops in the choruses, to the back and forth of record scratches in the second verse, to the injad chorus in the end, in order to give the audience closure after experiencing the oddly satisfying hell they've been put through, which is this tune. I gotta admit, Timbaland really did a great job producing this song. Next, we have the interesting vocals from Ms. Furtado as she sing raps in a bold yet snarky way throughout the verses, the bridge, and the outro. While in the chorus, she sings in a somewhat monotone voice that highlights how serious she is when addressing the audience how the titular character is toxic and overbearing. As for Timbaland, he did an impeccable job being a high man, as he energetically screams, Oh! Every time Miss Furtado finished the line, while his ad lib, come on now, it's a perfect transition from the verses to the choruses. He can also be reserved in the right moments, like how smoothly he sings about how he's never seen a titular character before in the outro, or how he vocalized in the intro in order to set up the hauntingly danceable vibe. Finally, we have the lyrics that simultaneously parody and celebrate the man-eater trope. In the case of the former, Ms. Furtado utilized the first-person pronouns 
me and I throughout the first verse in order to make fun of the villain as everybody screamed and moved their bodies around like nymphos. As for the latter, she used the third person pronoun she throughout the rest of the song in order to paint a picture of how manipulative, controlling, and selfish the man eater is that you wish you never met her at all. In my opinion, Nelly Furtado is the winner, only because it's catchier, more danceable, more lyrically refined, and more nostalgic to me than the Hollow Nose track. Just saying.